Hello you guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be decorating my house for Christmas. This video is probably going to span a few different days as we just get to different decorating tasks because some things I've ordered are still on their way here. But today, Giselle and I wanted to kick things off putting up our Christmas tree. I'm filming this a week or so before Thanksgiving, but Giselle and I are actually going to be spending Thanksgiving in New York is what we decided on. So when we get back after that, it needs to be Christmas in here. So I've got to do the prep work now. <laughs> Let's just hop into putting up the tree. I got us both Christmassy pajamas. <laughs> also, by request of Giselle, we are gonna get a real tree. Yes. They don't sell them until after Thanksgiving, so we'll have to get that after our New York trip. Giselle just brought the whole box. Our huge artificial Christmas tree box has been stored up on like the highest shelf in our garage and Giselle somehow by herself. I was like, how are we gonna get it down? I've been like worrying about it all day. Giselle by herself, I don't know. I don't know how she did it. She said, it's physics, whatever that means. you guys so this is just what our base tree looks like got this at target a couple of years ago if i can find it i will link it below we need to probably do a little bit more dispersing of the branches yeah i just wanted to show you our new tree skirt as well so i picked this up i want to say from west elm a couple of months ago i feel like the tree skirt is an area that's always kind of an afterthought for me i normally just use those fabric ones that like go around in a circle and that you tie together and i think those work but i just never loved it you know what i mean and then i saw this tree skirt i didn't even know they made tree skirts like this that are more like structured around the entire base a little bit taller so i'm pretty happy with that and now moving on to the ornaments also just for the direction of this tree you guys i put some inspiration images on screen that i have been loving but somehow i think i'm gonna get to that end result but i don't think i have the proper items like i really wanted velvet ornaments and they have just been sold out everywhere so i'm gonna show you what i have it's getting a little warm in here <laughs> for the tree i just wanted to show some of the things that i've either ordered or might be reusing from the past so i've been doing this tree the exact same for the past probably three years i think i'm could go back and check i have a video decorating every single year but what i normally do is go for a bunch of like metal tones it's very like gold i usually i have all my uh garlands in separate bags so that they are hopefully a little bit less tangled but in the past i always use these like bead strands as my garlands going around the tree as well as these little like gold what are these called little pick things that you put into the branches to like bring any even fuller effect and then i'll show you the ornaments that i'm going to be reusing from this year but i also did get some new ones for the year particularly some oversized ones so these are just from amazon they're kind of just those same shades i just think really large ornaments look so nice i got these oversized ornaments from west elm that are glass so now we have you know the broken wrist same for these very similar and then lastly from there i just got um, this set that's a little bit smaller. With Christmas decor, I do notice a big quality difference, of course, with like things coming from Amazon or maybe more of like Pottery Barn or things like that. But at the end of the day, things look the same. But yeah, also just for decorating this year, I got some tinsel. I've been loving the look of like those tinsel trees with this just like totally covering it. I got this garland just to see if I like it. It's kind of like wooden beads. Would need to order more if I do end up liking this. And then lastly, I just got a couple of packs of these like geometric like paper ornaments that I've been seeing. I think these are a little bit trendy this year along with velvet ornaments, which I don't have in my possession. But I'm kind of just gonna be putting things on and seeing what I like and then maybe even changing things out after Thanksgiving when we get 
get um, our real tree because then we'll have two trees and I don't know what the vision is for that one when I don't even have the vision for the first one. And lastly, I just got a bunch of velvet ribbons to potentially just tie little bows on different tree branches. So maybe this would be a good substitution for just like other things I've had in the tree in the past. So we're just gonna get started. I also got these ornaments just as an alternative. So we'll see if I end up liking these or returning those. Okay, larger than expected, but cute. I love these. They have magnets that just connect it. I was like, how does this work? Do I have to glue this? <laughs> I think I might get more of these. idea of this. All right, you guys, this is the after. This is definitely gonna be all I do today because the tinsel, I mean, you guys, no one warned me that this takes hours. <laughs> Granted, the kind I bought, which I really like, but they're individual strands, so it's like you have to get a bunch together and like literally place them everywhere. I guess you could just throw it and, you know, see what happens, but I went for the structured approach and it took me so long, but I do think this looks so good. All the other ornaments and everything, I think I'm gonna save for our real tree. But yeah, I'm really liking it. I think the big ornaments really do a lot. I feel accomplished. <laughs> It is a new day, kicking this off with some Christmas candlesticks. Back from when we had Friendsgiving, this is kind of our candle situation. So these are already like in the Christmas scheme of things. Also candlestick hack, um, where I've been getting all of my new favorite candlestick holders is actually from eBay. So many people sell these like real like brass heavy duty candlesticks and just want to get rid of them. And they look so much better than like that super bright shiny gold other candlesticks that you get on Amazon. So I just thought I would share that life hack because I have been really excited about that. But we're gonna sub out these candles for these. So I do love the twisted look. These are just like an evergreen color. And then I saw these that are Christmas trees and I thought these were so cute. So um, all these I just got at World Market. I think these were $5 for a pack of two. And then these were $4 each. <laughs> I just have so many candlestick holders now. So I'm gonna put these in and disperse these around the house because my candlestick game needs help. Like, excuse me. <laughs> I didn't know I signed up for another chore, which is now cleaning this out. scrape all this candle wax off. We're doing some laundry right now, so you might hear that, but I wanted to give a Christmassy makeover to our little dining area right here that's in our kitchen. So I picked out some things from Pottery Barn that are all gingerbread themed because I feel like in here, we kind of already have like neutral items on the table. So I just got a four pack of these gingerbread napkins. Also, why I wanted to do it here and not the really long dining table is because there's 10, 10 place settings there, you know? So I can get by with just four at this table. Same for these little place cards. I think this will be so cute for hosting that just look like this. And then they have the little slit to put a name card. Did I open this at first and think I'd ordered salt and pepper shakers? I may have. So there's just like a full gingerbread house collection at Pottery Barn. I need to find two. We, um, last year I bought their big gingerbread cookie jar. So that's somewhere out in our Christmas stuff. Hopefully I will find it. And then I just got these little 
appetizer plates. Additionally, in a four pack, so these will go um, as part of the place setting. And I kind of want to host at some point, just like a casual, either like crafty Christmas thing. I thought this would be really cute for like a crafting night or a gingerbread house making competition or something like that. And then lastly, I just got a few gingerbread houses. So these are gonna go um, down the middle of the table. major decision paralysis right now. I need your feedback. So I got the gingerbread napkins specifically for this like table setting. I switched out the charger plates to gold ones as well. I just feel like that's more festive, but I feel like there's just like no color going on. So I brought in the green candles I was using previously. I think we can all agree this would look better without this Mykonos book. So I'm gonna swap that. Do they make Christmas coffee table books? Cause that would be really cool. Obviously this does not match, but I'm like, okay, I feel like it's just so beige, which I love neutrals, but I don't know. I have these green napkins as well. Do we like the place setting better with that? I hadn't gotten to this yet, but from West Elm, I got some of these little paper trees. So there are a few different shades of green. I have three and white as well. And they open up to be various sizes. They look kind of like this. And so I was gonna use this somewhere else, but now I'm like, all right, should I tie in more green here? Like with, I mean, not right there, but to get the picture. Giselle, do you like this? Yeah. And should I do the gingerbread napkins or green napkins? I don't like it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like I don't like it. Maybe change the books. Yeah. What do you think? And these guys are place settings, so obviously we don't, we're not using those now. Your cups match nicely. Good. We're going out of town, but when we get back, Giselle just had the idea to buy some greenery to use as like a table runner. I think that would be a great idea. I'll take this book out at that time too. And I think the green napkins look better but I did buy these for the occasion, so I'm just gonna use the gingerbread ones. Could you layer that and put that on top of the green? Two napkins? I don't know, the green would pop out like a border. And I wouldn't call it practical unless you got really messy either. I don't know. That looks nice, right? Giselle with the ideas. Ooh, I like it. All right, problem solved. Okay, so here is what it's looking like for now. I do kind of like the double napkin look. Yeah, this space, if you're new here, we don't really eat at. It's just kind of an extra dining space. So that's why I wanted to make this just really cute and Christmassy and it will look even better in future vlogs. So keep an eye out. Whoa. Okay, I was not expecting jumbo size. The white ones are too aggressive. Okay, so I had no idea this one was gonna be so big, which I don't hate. Like I like that it actually fills some height here and I wanted just like something really simple at the top because this whole furniture thing, since there are so many shelves, it just looks cluttered most of the time. We'll figure out what happens down there later, but I just can't decide. I feel like these two next to each other just kind of go overboard, but then if I take one away, I guess that still looks fine, but then I just don't know where to put this other guy. Oh well, another thing done. So excuse the mess and some deliveries that just got here, but if you are on TikTok, you've potentially seen the very popular tension rod garland hack. So at our last place, Giselle and I loved getting real garlands from Trader Joe's and kind of framing our windows, but I think it would look so good on like this main archway, but we don't have the supplies for that yet. Since I am decorating early, I'm just gonna have to wait for real garlands to start showing up, but I thought that would be a good place, potentially something over this, but I don't really know how I would do that. Or maybe just over the mirror. I'm just trying to avoid like long term damage to the walls. So in the case of like command hooks or nails or anything, that's not completely ideal. But here, if I did the tension rod hack, where basically just use a really long tension rod across and weave the garland around it, I think that would be okay. Um, and then another place that I think would look really good to do that would just be to frame this big doorway here as well. So stay tuned for that. I think that is where I'm gonna stop with today's decorating. I'm gonna be vlogging lots coming up, lots of holiday activities, um, and just showing you the rest of the decor as things arrive and as I fully dig through the garage but I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful holiday season so far be sure to watch my gift guide if you haven't and I will see you in my next video Peace.